What's up, y'all? This your boy, Master P. Dot. Before I get on to my content, for those that are new to my channel, welcome. I get my content on the Philadelphia Eagles, whether it's the off-seasons, the pre-seasons, the regular seasons, the free agent signs, the trade signs, um, the draft prospects, and the Philadelphia Eagles highlights the all the Hall of Famers, legends, and former ex-players that I have done. Some of those that nobody has done before. Check them out in the playlist. Learn them. Study them. Appreciate them. Send your prayers and condolences out to those that's no longer with us. Because um, the last one that recently passed away was um, is, uh, Maxie Bogan. He was a former um, All-Pro and Pro Bowl linebacker. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and follow my Instagram. Your boy just officially hit um, 100 followers on there. So, um, thank you. So, let's get on to the content. <clears throat> Now, the Eagles have um, officially made their um, 53-man roster a couple of days ago, and um, I couldn't even um, get a chance to make a video about that because um, I've been busy with work, but um, I'm here to talk about it now, so better late than never. So um, I'm going to give my grades on this. Now, well, let me start off with the offense. Now, the quarterback roster, um, I'm going to give it um, – a B minus. I mean, of course, uh, we know Jalen Hurts is our starting quarterback, and of course, um, they was going to um, keep Marcus Mariota as QB number two. For the way he's been looking in preseason, it's been like embarrassing. It's been looking really bad, the way he's been performing. So we have no choice but to um, accept it. And they got um, Tanner McKee as QB number three. So um, I, I'm, um, I like that. Uh, I'm glad he's um, a back, backup QB number three. So, I mean, he still has a lot to learn from Jalen Hurts and um, Marcus Mariota. But I get that um, a B, just like I said. Now, um, the running back room, I get that a B plus. Because we know um, DeAndre Swift is our RB number one. And um, Rashad Penny, I believe he's um, running back number two. Kenneth Gainwell is um, RB number three. Correct me if I'm wrong, but um, I'm just speaking from my point of view. And um, I believe um, Boston Sky's RB number four. So I'll give that a B plus. Receiving core. I'll give this... Um, why not? I give this an A. I give this an A because, you know, got the best receiving core in the league in A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith. And we got the um, third receiver, on um, the speedster, um, Quez Watkins, who needs to um, work on his catching and holding on to the ball. That's really important because um, he, he's getting slept on. So he's a sleeper. So um, I'm, I'm really not, like, having doubt in him. So I know he's going to step up for sure because I know he was disappointed in himself last year, especially um, missing that catch in the Super Bowl. So, um, and they got, um, and they got eyes as um, receiver number four, of course. So I give this an A. Offensive line, come on. Like, I give this um. I give this an A. Come on, man. Best offensive line in the league. There's no question. There's no doubt about it. Went up against one of the best defense in the league. Come on, man. Why not give this an A? You got future Hall of Famers in Jason Kelsey, Lane Johnson. And we got, like, come on, man. Pro Bowlers, like, and Landon Dickerson. And a future Pro Bowler, like, and Jordan Malata. And we got the young studs like um, Cam Jurgens and um, Tyler Steen, future Pro Bowlers in the near future, even future Hall of Famers. Only time will tell. Come on, I give this an A for the offensive line and um, the tight end room. I give this um, a B because we got the best in um, Dallas Goddard, and we got um. Jack Stahl, we got Grant Calcaterra, and we got that um that new tight end um, which I'm gonna make um a new like I'm gonna make a video about um in my next video. 
So, um, I get this a beat. Because some of them can block, they can catch, they can create separation, get open, catch the ball, block, all of that. Now, <clears throat> on to the defense. Start with the defensive line. We got seven defensive linemen from D tackles and pass rushes. I've give this um a A. Whoa, whoa, hold on. Hold on. Let me mean, not get ahead of myself. I'm gonna say B plus, because I don't want to jinx it. I don't want to jinx it. I'm give this a B plus. So because we got future Hall of Famer um Fletcher Cox and Brandon Graham. August 10 of D linemen in franchise history. And we got um, Pat, like, the best pass rushers that's quick off their feet in Hassan Riddick and Josh Sweat, a.k.a. Sweat Blood. Sweat Blood is what I call them. That's what I nickname them. We only got one Sweat Blood with us, and that's Josh Sweat. And um, we got um, Patrick Johnson. We got an... Um, Come on, like Jordan Davis, Milton Williams, and a future bona fide stud. Come on, man. Come on, Jalen Carter. Oh my goodness. He's about to bring the heat. He's about to bring some damage. I can't wait to see week one where he's gonna like perform. Especially all of them. I can't wait to see what he can do. He's he's gonna show the world like what he's capable of. But don't sleep on Milton Williams. He's going to have a, like, a breakout year too. So don't sleep on Milton. He was here before Jordan Davis. Before like Jalen Carter and him. He's a bona fide stud too. Like, so don't sleep on him. And now, um, like I said, I, I give that a B plus. Now, linebacker room. It's questionable, but... I'm gonna give this um a B minus because we got um I can't believe I can't believe like come on get myself together like, like come on come on we got Nicole Dean we got Zach Cunningham and we got Christian Ellis I can't believe I almost all oh, forgot their names also it's been a minute since um I made a video about it right, so bear with now um Nicole Dean he's gonna have um a standout like in a breakout year. So there, there's no like, no doubts or, like, about him. So the Kobe Dean, he's going to have a breakout and standout year. Is that Cunningham? He's been around for a couple of years. So I can't wait to see what he can do because he's been all around. He did, um, he'd been doing his job the way he's performing in these last preseason games. So it, it's hard to explain. So I can't even get the words off, so don't sleep on him. Don't sleep on him. Zach Cunningham. He's going to have a standout year. As long as everything works out, I'm okay with it. And um, Christian Ellis, yeah, he has, he's been looking solid in practice, but let's see what he can do on the field, in the game, in the real deal, like in the real, like in the game that really like, matters the most. Let's see what he can do on the big stage, in the big league. So um, he got to show it. I've been hearing about it, but he got to show it. I want to see for myself. So I give this a B minus in the linebacker room. Secondary, start with cornerbacks. I give this um, I give this a B because we got um two um best cornerbacks in the league, best cornerbacks duo, a big play slave. Who really needs to get himself together and step up? Yeah, like he's been, like he's he's a cool guy, good guy. Yeah, he's been joking around, like, but don't joke around in big games that really matters the most and really important games. Nothing to joke around, nothing to play around with. So he really needs to step up and get himself together. He's one of the team captains. You got to show it, act like it. And we got James Bradbury, another um, Pro Bowl cornerback. But really, um, it's going to like, have a revenge season. It's a season. It's a season of redemption for him. 
after the um, pass interference that got called in the Super Bowl, which was BS, but like you can't like take that away. That's no excuse. Like he admitted, like, and you got to respect that he admitted, like he was holding on um, the receiver. So you got to respect that he took accountability. So he's gonna have um, a breakout year, but he needs to step up for sure. That's all I got to say about him. And we got um, Avante Maddox. We got um, Eli Ricks, who had a standout performance in these last three preseason games. So, um, and we got Josh Joe, and that's what's up. I'm, I'm happy with this uh, cornerback room because um, whenever um, Slay and Bradbury leaves, we got Eli Ricks, Josh Joe. Who knows if Avante Maddox can stay healthy and stay along with the Philadelphia Eagles. How long if he can't stay healthy? Only time will tell. But we got um, the best in um, soon to be seen in Josh Job and Eli Ricks. So I give this a B. Safety room with um, admins Blankenship and Sidney Brown. I give this a B. Because Kevon Wallace is not here no more, so thank goodness. Sorry, but not sorry, but not sorry. But I wish him nothing but the best out there in Arizona. Reunited with him. I don't want to say his name, but y'all know who. I want to get off topic, but wish him nothing but the best. That's all I got to say, but. Back to the safety room. Admins, we got Blankenship, and we got Brown. So um, I'm more comfortable. I'm more relieved. So um, those are my grades on the positions from offense to defense of the 53, like, excuse me, 53 man roster of the Philadelphia Eagles. Let me know in the comment section. Um, what do y'all think about it? Do you like some of the, um, the names that I mentioned? Do you like some of the positions, some of the players that I mentioned? Let me know in the comment section. Give me your honest feedbacks. Don't, be, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and follow my Instagram. See you in the next video. Y'all have a good day. Fly equals fly.